Hi, I'm Heather. I'm Jo. I'm Lizzie. And we have travelled here to Salu for the Challenge 70.3 to try and beat the pros. We know the pros are fast, but just how fast? Could we as a team go even faster? Well, Lizzie, Joe, and I have come here to Challenge 70.3 with a sole purpose of beating the pro women. Yes, that means we are going to have to beat the likes of the reigning Ironman world champion, Anne Haug, and the London Olympic silver medalist, Lisa Norden, a rather daunting prospect. Well, to know just how fast we're going to have to go, we've pulled up some of the recent results and times from this race. When it was a full 70.3 back in 2018 and 2019, it was won by Judith Corican Vaquera in 4 hours 12 minutes, and then the following year, 4 hours 16 minutes. Fast forward three years, how fast can the field of 2022 go? Well, Torsten Rad from Tri Rating predicts that Anne Haug will win in a time of 4.06.53, with a breakdown of a 28 minute swim, a 2.19 bike and a rapid 1.16 run. And if we look across each discipline, Torsten predicts the fastest swim will come from India Lee in 26 minutes, the fastest bike from Lisa Norden in 2 hours 18, and then the run from Anne. However it plays out on the day though, it still leaves us with a huge challenge. I expect you guys are now wondering how this originally came about. Well, last summer, I had a message from Lizzie on Instagram saying that she had watched our GTN Lanzarote course record attempt where I did the swim. And she was wondering if I wanted to join her as part of this relay team that she was setting up. And that was originally it, the idea of trying to do a sub eight full Ironman. Now, after some discussion, we thought we probably need a warm up and doing a sub four attempt for 70.3 is a good place to start. However, Conditions are so variable that we thought it's probably a more tangible goal to try and race the pros. And if we get a sub four in the process, great, but let's try it and see if we can beat them. But anyway, you guys know plenty about me. It's time to meet the rest of the team. Jo is doing our bike leg. Her sporting career started as a runner where she ran the 400 meters for Northern Ireland at the Commonwealth Games. She then discovered triathlon and realized she had a talent for cycling, most recently winning the British national 50 mile and 100 mile time trial. Okay, so I'm doing the bike leg, which is probably the longest leg of the course. Um, so there's a lot of good pros racing this race um, and a lot of good sort of riders as well. Um, the, probably the standout rider is Lisa Norden. Um, she sort of rides TTs as a pro as well, as does triathlon as pro, so she's probably the standout rider. But there's a lot of other really strong riders as well. I know Fenella is on really good form at the minute and is riding really well. And then obviously Anne Haug and lots of others racing. So I don't think it'll be <laughs> an easy time to beat them all. I mean, before we sort of came here and things, maybe I was aiming around about the two hour mark. However, with the weather the way it is and like looking at the course and things, I think probably like nearer to 10 might be more realistic. Like with the wind like it is today, if that keeps up, it probably will be really difficult to do that. We rode a lap of the course just um, to sort of check the course out not that long ago and it was pretty hard to ride just because of the sort of 50 mile an hour winds. But I think it is meant to die down by Sunday. Lizzie is our runner, formerly a rower who in 2017 transitioned that power into triathlon. Two years later, she went on to win an Ironman. Now a member of the Wahoo Lacole cycling team, she also excels in the run. <laughs> um, well, I've done a couple of half marathons just to test to see where I am at the moment running over the last month. And they've both kind of been relatively close to target time um, on a hilly course. So, I think that I can get my target time, which is around um, 122, hopefully a tiny bit faster, just because I have been doing a bit more specific training for it since. The one I'm most uh, terrified by is Anne Howe. Um, I mean, she's looking like she can get a 116 run. Uh, I don't think anyone else will be relatively close to that, but um, I do think that we've got, you know, some strong athletes like Lisa Norden and um, Fenella Langridge who will be running pretty quickly. So yeah, we'll, we'll see.
Right, we've got our heads around those relay specific rules. Our kit is all sorted, carb levels topped up, so I think that means it's time for some sleep. tiny hole in it um, and I noticed yesterday it sealed up when I rode it but then I went to pump it up again today and it's just like exploded open and now the pressure in the tyre won't hold past 40 which isn't ideal for me so. Mm. so now I'm trying to get this off but it's just got so much sealant stuck. Do you think we should run to transition and see if someone can there's normally a biomechanic in transition. Or like a wheel, a front wheel, but I need a special this type of wheel. Should we go down? Should we should I go down to transition? I don't really know. What what did you what did you try and I just tried to pump it up to 70. Okay. And then it just like squished the air out. Yeah. Like probably worse than it was. Yeah, the thing is if it, if you'd left it at 40 it might have just As I rode. gotten down, yeah. So you're better off just putting something inside it. Oh, what a disaster. We should have bought a spare wheel. Right. Let's go pump it up and see what happens. Yeah, okay. It's all stuck together now, for fuck's sake. I need a spare wheel, like I need a wheel, just like any road bike wheel or... Because this is all stuck together now. Disaster. Like, so I can't even pump it up. Let me see if anyone's replied to the group. All right, it's been a pretty high stress morning, as you guys have seen. The girls have found someone who apparently can help them, fingers crossed, so they've gone to sort that. Meanwhile, it's been announced that it is now a duathlon. So all my weeks of swim training and getting ready for this have gone out the window, and I've got to get my head around the fact that I'm now running a 4K instead of swimming 1,900 metres. And yeah, there was kind of rumours, so I was slightly prepared, but I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. And I know everyone else who's doing it will be so gutted because we're triathletes and yeah, I'm, I'm a swimmer at the moment. Thankfully, I brought my trainers. So I'm going to go and have to warm up and start to try and get my head around the fact I've got to run a 4K. I mean, how do you even pace that? I've, I've no idea. As it so happens, the swim was also cancelled in 2021 and the event became a duathlon then. And it was Lisa Norden who went on to win that in an overall time of 3.51.09. So to give us a rough idea of what we need to aim for, she ran the 4.4k in 15.41, completed the bike in 2 hours 8 minutes and the half marathon in 1 hour 24. Oh, 
I felt sick from that, okay. Uh. With Jo halfway through the bike course, she is already more than one minute faster than the fastest pro at this point. She is flying through the field. Oh my god! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Easy, easy, easy. You're your first one, don't worry. 50 meters. <laughs> gonna be nerve-wracking the women have finished we're still waiting for updates but joe went i think three minutes quicker than the quickest cyclist so she absolutely smashed it i was about a minute slower we'll skip over that bit so it means we had a couple of minutes in the bag however fenella ran so fast we're trying to get those stats we'll share them in a moment Actually, an update, Joe. What's um? What do you reckon we've got to do time-wise? I think we've got. I think we were two and a half minutes ahead. So the winning runner was 80 minutes. So I think she's an 82 minute marathon, half marathon, and she should be there. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Maybe. So we know Lizzie's PB is a 122. So basically, we're just expecting her to run a PB, but we have high expectations. I mean, Joe smashed the bike, so. Yeah, it's all down to Lizzie. I mean, my little token effort seems a while ago now. Right, come on, Lizzie. You're on track, you've just got to keep this up now. Come on, you've got to do a 122, you've got that in you. Come on, girl, keep it up, keep that rhythm, last lap to go. Great stuff, go, Lizzie, come on. Oh, she's just dropping off the pace a tiny bit. Um, so, the first two laps, she was hitting bang on pace. Her PB is a 122, she's, I think she's got to run a 122.50. Should be doable, she went out really strong. Just hoping she's not gone out too strong. Um, yeah, there's nothing else we can do. We're just being spectators, watching, supporting. We're only allowed to learn, run the final 100 meters with Lizzie and it might be a sprint. Yeah, clock is ticking. Come on, Lizzie. Come on. Well, 
Well, we have finished and I am super <laughs> proud of both of these girls. They absolutely <laughs> smashed it. So very quick breakdown. I ran 16.48 and a very painful four and something K. It was definitely a bit extra. <laughs> but then this one here, smash bike. What time did you do? 208 something. <laughs> and I was like, what time? Like, what? <laughs> um, and how was yeah. it? You were just flying past all the men, all the women. Well, yeah, no, it was good. It was fun. I really enjoyed it out there. It was quite like a surgy course. It was supposed to be, like, in my mind, I felt that it was like completely flat, but it was actually like little like humps and downs and things and a lot of dead turns, but it was good fun. And how much quicker did you go than Lisa Norden, the fastest woman? Um, I think a couple of minutes. I think it was three. I think it was three minutes. She's being <laughs> honest, this one. And then Lizzie brought it home with an incredible half. How was that? It was harder than I expected it to be. It was flat. Um, it was a bit windy. And um, I think I hadn't kind of in uh, anticipated how many people would be out on the course when we got there. So yeah, it was I, busy. I, I found it challenging, but um, I had a good run. I enjoyed it. And it went pretty quickly. Yeah. And I brought it home. So. Yeah. Yay. So results on the doors. <laughs> Fenella Language smashed the women's and won it in a time of three hours, 50 minutes and 41 seconds. We did it in three hours, 50 minutes and 14 seconds! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, mega proud of these guys. It's been a stressful day. If you guys have followed this video, you will know. But hopefully <laughs> you have enjoyed it. You appreciate our efforts. If you have, do give us a like and click on that globe to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>